In this tutorial, we will take a brief look at all of the tools listed in the Visual Editor toolbar. The first icon is the bold icon. Clicking on this will make your text bold. The next icon represents italics. Clicking on this will italicize your text. You can strike through your text by clicking on the strike through icon. This is typically used to show errors or changes made to your post. Clicking the next icon will create an unordered or bulleted list while the following icon represents a numbered, ordered list. The quote icon lets you create a block quote. Highlight your text and click the block quote icon. The next tool will insert a horizontal line wherever your cursor is when you click. The following three icons represent alignment. You can use these three icons to align left, center your text, or align right. The link and unlink icons allow you to link and unlink your text to another page and post on your website or to an external website. The Insert More tool allows you to create a break in the page to give a shorter preview in your post listings. This tool may or may not affect your site depending on the way your theme functions. The full screen icon allows you to edit or create your content without distractions by eliminating the sidebar and all other modules. The kitchen sink icon reveals another row of tools for editing and formatting your content. The first is a styling drop down menu for adjusting the style of your post's content. You also find underline in this second row of icons. Clicking on this will underline your text. Justify is the next icon. This one will align every row of your text from the far left margin to the far right margin. The next icon allows you to change the color of your text. Use the Paste Plain Text box to insert text from another text editor and remove any formatting that may have occurred in the other editor. The Remove Formatting tool removes formatting from a targeted group of text by clicking on this icon when text is highlighted. You can insert a custom character, such as the copyright sign and the trademark sign, by clicking on the custom character icon and selecting it from the list. You can outdent and indent your text with the outdent and indent icon. The remaining icons are the Undo and Redo buttons. Clicking on the question mark will pull up a Visual Editor help menu to help answer any questions you may have about the Visual Editor.